Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 5th of September 2019 and the time has just gone 11.50 British Summer Time. And this week's Chart of the Week is the British Pound versus the US Dollar or Cable as it's known uh, in market slang terminology. Uh, so obviously it's been an extremely busy week um, uh, and hectic week, an odd week for British politics, but stripping out all the political noise and all the headlines and all the chaos and just looking at the price action alone, we have seen uh, some quite massive, sub sub substantial moves. We've seen um, earlier this week, we saw a major move to the downside in the British pound, and in the last, say, 48 hours, a nice, quite a sizable break, uh, push higher in the British pound. And if you take a look at the price action in the last couple of days, uh, particularly this day here, uh, last and Tuesday, a couple of days ago, we saw uh, the pound pierce the kind of 120 level. Uh, it went all the way back. So 120 and went down to depend exactly where you want to call the lows in around kind of one uh, one spot 1985 there thereabouts and depends which kind of headlines you read. Um, some will say that it was the lowest it was the lowest that the pound has been versus the US dollar since the mid 1980s. Uh, and if you take a look at if you take a look at that level on this chart here, we can see that that was a fairly significant level for support. And as you can see, the market has rebounded from there. So it seems that that, that there is a fairly decent support in around the kind of, let's say, 190, 1 spot 1985 up to kind of 1 spot 1990, 1 spot 9, up to kind of 1 spot 20. That entire kind of zone uh, seems to be a fairly significant area of support. This area I'm, I'm talking about just around here. But if you look at the, the price action in the last few days, this candle here, the daily candle on Tuesday, the 3rd of September, has the potential to be a hammer, uh, whereby we see the market is, is pushing lower. At the very beginning, uh, market was driving lower. The, uh, the, the, we can see here by the candlestick um, that the market essentially opened, essentially on the previous day's close. In the early part of the trading, it, it, it uh, moved aggressively to the downside. That's the move we're talking about, sub 120, back to levels not seen for, for a few decades. But then there was a sharp move in the, in the, in the rest of the day to the upside. It snapped back uh, and it didn't, obviously it didn't close at the, at, the, uh, at, the, at the high of the day, but it wasn't too far away from it here. And it was comfortably above um, the, the, the open. And, now we, and yesterday and today we have seen a continuation push higher in the British pound versus the US dollar. So this candle here has the potential to be a, a, a hammer. We can see here that we're now at levels, uh, to be honest, not seen since you know since, since late July, which is pretty significant considering if you look at all the headlines, you think uh, politics in, in the in the UK uh, is at, probably at its worst level, worst kind of level in living memory. But we have seen a pretty significant bounce back. And if you look to can, and if you can hold above this area here, I predict if you can close above um, this area here in at one spot 2309, which would have been the highs of, uh, of of late August. If you could hold above that, we could look at heading up towards this area here in around the one spot 24 region. And if we go beyond that, uh, we could be looking at targeting up around this zone here in around 126. We can see it on a few occasions south of 126 after the support and a few occasions. And in, 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 on a few occasions, it also acted um, in around the kind of 125 area region, also acted at resistance up when the market was pushing lower throughout July. Now, this is what we're seeing on the, the British pound versus the US dollar. Let's take a look at a uh, different currency pair to kind of just see how things are going, how the British pound is doing against other currency pairs and see if the kind of move is kind of being confirmed in other uh, markets. So we're now looking at the euro sterling, the euro versus the British pound. And what do we see? We can see a steady move to the downside in the euro versus the British pound. So euro sterling is falling, therefore the pound is getting stronger. So we've seen um, the euro versus the British pound break below a fairly significant level here, 90, kind of big kind of psychological number. But also we can see on a few occasions that the 90 metric acted at resistance on a few occasions um, on the way up. So and, and now we can seem to have broken below that so we're now at levels on euro sterling not seen since late july so kind of in a way is similar to what we're seeing um in the british pound versus the us dollar so we're seeing strength in the in the british pound across the board it's gaining against the us dollar and it's certainly gaining against the euro here um so what, what, what we can kind of, um, deduct from the, the move in euro sterling is that there's this sterling positivity is, is across the board 
Uh, if, if though, we, you know, the market does manage to kind of run out of steam and it does manage to turn over on itself yet again, we could be looking heading back down towards 122. And then if you go below that, we could be looking heading back down towards the recent lows, sub 120, in around some of the region of in around one spot 1960, there, thereabouts. And then if you go below that, we could be looking heading back down towards one spot 19. Now, if you are trading uh, the British pound versus the US dollar, please be aware that later today we have the US ADP employment numbers out at 13.15 British summer time. At 13.30 British summer time, we have the um, jobless claims from the US. And tomorrow uh, at 13.30 uh, British summer time, we have the all-important US non-farm payroll support. In fact, my colleague Michael Houston is actually hosting a webinar on the event tomorrow, which kicks off at 13.15 British summer time. You can sign up on our website if you go to cmcmarkets.com and under insights, webinars and events, you will find this page. Uh, that's all for me this week in relation to the video of the week. If you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. Thank you very much.